welcome to uh, expert Ezra academy so t today we're going to see a couple of items one is um, getting angle uh, from x-axis uh, based on two two selected points and the second one is uh, calculating uh, area from uh, polygon so these are the two things that we're going to see um, so typically guys whenever you write some plugins for autocad um, there will be majorly two portions of it one is you know you extract data or you do some analysis get some calculations done and then um, get some reports or something like that from existing data existing drawings so that is one set of things that you do and another one is you create objects like circles drawing like rectangles lines and whatever it could be um, so now typically typically if you look at it any vertical programmer for a CAD um, extracting data extracting the required data in the format that you want it and that would be the difficult part of it compared to creating objects creating objects would be a lot more straightforward um, so my suggestion would be is when you actually learning to build plugins uh, give a bit more importance to uh, extracting data um, especially some of the methods that you use to uh, calculate angles areas and distance and whatever it could be if you don't understand it just check few more tutorials uh, from different people as well try to understand it ask some questions in the forum and make sure that you understand it completely uh, because that is your strength because that is where you struggle a lot when you grow as a bigger experienced developer all right guys so let's get moving with this one so just a quick word of um, information so i have created another um, uh, channel as well so it's called ask regulin I, I will put the share the link on the description as well um, that's just some random videos of current events and signs and some science fiction stuff and something interesting so um, hope you like it just check those channel and uh, if you like it subscribe to this channel and uh, share it with your friends all right let's get get in, get into it uh, so first thing is uh, first method is angle from uh, x-axis so in this one what we're doing is we're creating two points point one uh, that's the X and Y values for creating those point and then point two and uh, then what we're doing is we getting this method which is point one get vector 2.2 that is like um, creating a vector between point one and point two and uh, get the angle for that vector so that is what we're doing and then we are printing into a show alert dialog box so now this alert dialog box this is not uh, your typical standard windows form or WPF uh, dialog boxes message boxes uh, this is uh, within your uh, AutoCAD interface uh, I would suggest use these ones when you're going to use it like a very small method and just going to print it and that's all you're going to do it if that is the case just use this one uh, whereas if you're going to use quite quite a few times the message boxes and things like that uh, then you can look for something special fancy or even use the WPF ones or uh, any of those ones that you need it um, because if you use the WPF ones just for say example uh, just for one of these instances um, you need to add the references to those libraries so that would take some space uh, so you can you can avoid it if it's one of scenarios okay so let's try this one so I'm going to uh, AutoCAD um, net load command and choose the plugin click open and that's done so let's get the command which is angle from x-axis angle from x-axis and what it does is it it actually creates those points remember it is not adding to the database so it's committing the transaction it's not doing all those once you've done that it would actually have the two points on the screen so right now it's just creating those points and get the angle and then discarding it so it's not even creating the actual point on the screen um, yeah that's the angle from the x-axis value all right so now um, let's get to the next method uh, so the next method is calculate uh, from a defined area so this is this will be applicable for any closed area so not respective for this one so you can use this method on other things as well so in this one what we're doing is we're getting getting the current document uh, which would be uh, autodesk application service application document manager mda active document so this would get the current active document and then um, so we creating uh, initiating some variables here so one is the point uh, result and uh, next one is a point collection and then uh, point options so these are the three methods that we're creating and now what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to click on the screen to create a point wherever he needs it so we uh, he's going to click on the screen and then we're going to get the x and y value um, from the from the location where he clicked and then we're going to add it to the collection 
So remember, if it is in a scenario you going and picking an existing polygon, then what you need to do is you go into each of those vertices and you need to get the XY values and then add it to the collection. So this is um, since we need to create those points manually. So this is what we're doing. And then um, so what we're doing is exit if the user press escape. So any time during the process, if the user press escape, um, you can exit out of this command. And then uh, if he's going to keep continuing, so we're going to do it until we reach four points. Uh, less than or equal to four points. That's what we're going to do. And uh, so we're going to put it to a while loop. And there is a switch case here. And um, so we're going to keep asking the user, OK, first point, second point, third point, fourth point. We're going to do it. And uh, as soon as the user uh, finishes off with one point, the previous point, we're going to use this as a base point from the uh, previous point. And then um, we're going to keep adding to the collection so that we have list of all the points that we have got from the user and once we finishes it we're going to exit out of the loop and that would because the loop will reach um, this value and uh, then it will exit the while loop and once that is done we're going to create a polyline uh, with the five points that we have created so now we're just going to uh, go for use polyline command and then uh, add vertices uh, vertices uh, vertex at and then we give an index value. So for e because it's a polyline, so it's a continuous string of lines. And uh, we're going to give the vertex uh, the index. And then we're going to give supply the point values as well. So the point value uh, is in the collection. So we're going to use the same index to get the points one, two, three, four, and things like that. And once it's done, we're going to use uh, AC poly closed to close the polygon because just in case if the user is not actually closing in the same starting point, if it is an open polygon, then we will not be get the areas. So we're going to close the polygon and, um, and then we're going to go into the command uh, to show an alert box. And in that one, we're going to show uh, we're going to go into the AC poly. That is the uh, polygon uh, polyline pretty much. And then we're going to get the dot area, use the dot area command to get the area of the polygon. And remember, after this, we're going to dispose this uh, polygon, uh, polyline again. Um, once you close a polyline, it becomes a polygon. And uh, the reason is, uh, this is just a standard exercise. We don't want to create the object. We just want to calculate and show the values. Uh, so if you actually commit the transaction, you will see the uh, polyline on the screen. All right, so let's get this working. So the command for this one is uh, calculate defined area. So I'm going to type in calculate defined area. So now I see it's giving you the prompt for the user to go and pick it on the screen. So I'm going to click, click, click. And then once you finish all those points, it closes the polygon. And then it says the area of the polyline is this much. All right. So that's it uh, for today, guys. All the exercise file will be in GitHub. And uh, I will actually sync the project as soon as I finish certain portions of it so you can get it whenever you guys need it. Uh, so I'm actually going through all these standard um, exercises for um, AutoCAD. So um, once we finish it, we'll add more tricks and little things uh, apart from uh, what you can find online. So I'll also add a whole bunch of other things as well. Please feel free to check all these Civil 3 tutorials, anything that you might need. Just feel free to let me know. Uh, I'll also do some Revit ones when I have some time. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Thank you.